What's going on, everybody? Another video from Big Bernie Cool coming right at ya. And last night on Raw, uh, we got to see a little change in attitude of Adam Rose, who for the past few months has just been not really entertaining at all. The, his character is just it, it it it's not lasting a whole while. I mean, after three weeks of him debut debuting on TV. I mean, everyone just got bored of him. It's the same thing every time. Nothing cool ever came out of it. Uh, in NXT, he was pretty much over, but you know how uh, being over in NXT doesn't always translate into becoming the best WWE superstar. I mean, you had that happen with uh, Bo Dallas a little bit. He had the Bo Leave thing going on. He was NXT champion. Then once he hit the main roster, I mean... He, he he did solid for a couple of months, but then after after our freaking truth broke broke his streak, then uh, not nothing really good became came out of him. I mean, he had a better run than Adam Rose, but still NXT doesn't always uh, equal a main superstar. And plus uh, Emma also that's another good example. She was the second best diva on NXT behind Paige. When they were on, when they had their run, but hasn't done anything on the main roster, and yeah, that's just the NXT crowd being a lot different from anything of a WWE live audience. But yeah, you have that, and um, one thing that could come out of Adam Rose's change of attitude, change of character, whatever you want to say it, maybe he turns back into Leo Kruger. Um, how I kind of see this happening is that. Um, uh, Adam Rose has some sort of post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, and um, the only way he knows how to cope with that is by partying. Partying with his Rosebuds, partying with his bunny, whatever. And um, all of a sudden, he feels like it's not helping him at all, and he starts having flashbacks, mental, just mental stuff, and he starts taking it out on the Rosebuds and Bunny, which he kind of already has. He's already taken out the Bunny once after uh, his match uh, last night after the Bunny kind of screwed him over. It's kind of understandable how he would kick him, but, I mean, you saw the look on his face. It just looked like he was done with his shit. Uh, he, he needs something else. So maybe we see him start to become a Leo Kruger again. Uh, like he was in early NXT, he was Leo Kruger for at least a year. And then, all of a sudden, he turned into Adam Rose over time. But, um, yeah, Adam Rose, uh, just because partying is the only way to cope with PTSD, that's one theory you could have of how he's gotten there to there. I mean, his promos, I mean, he's a solid talker, and... Um, uh, he just have flashback. He describe stories and everything. It actually kind of work out, kind of like a Dean Ambrose type. I mean, Dean Ambrose seems like someone who'd have PTSD. I mean, he he shares good stories and stuff. Maybe if Leo Kruger can do something like that, about uh, I'm pretty sure he's South African, if I'm mistaken, or at least the Kruger Kruger character is. So I don't know something in Africa back in the days. He saw something really bad. And couldn't cope with it. So you have that. Or maybe another thing you could do with it. Maybe a split personality. So you never know which one to show up each week. Sometimes it's the Adam Rose. Sometimes it's um, Lila Kruger. Maybe if it depends on if he takes meds at all. I have no idea. WWE can really write a lot about this. This would be a solid mid-card feud. Way better than, um, I don't know, anything like 3MB versus... Uh, uh, I can't remember anymore. Matadoris and uh, that little midget guy. It's a way better mid-card story than that was. And that was actually a little bit decent. And uh, better than what Adam Rose is doing right now. I don't know what the hell he's doing right now. Other than feuding with the bunny. I mean, facing Tyson Kidd. Uh, Tyson Kidd's gotten a lot of wins by cheating. But it, it doesn't really do much for Ham anymore. So, yeah, you have that. I really like this. Uh, what they're doing to Adam Rose, they're making him a lot better than he has been in the past few months. They're making him a little bit more interesting again, and we'll see where this takes us. Hopefully WWE listens to me and does something cool. So, yeah, you got that. 
You know, if you like this theory, like this video, leave a comment uh, telling me what you like about this theory or not. Uh, what would you change? What would you do with Adam Rose? And if you guys want, subscribe. That would be awesome. And I'll see you guys later.